Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a project. We're going to be using a few new items over at the Spellbinder shop. This is part of a new collection called the Color Block Mini Shapes Collection. And I'm using two different shapes. When I first saw these, I thought, these are so pretty. First of all, I love the, the peacock feathers kind of looked of this one. And then... This one, I thought it was really neat how you can, um, how the shapes die cut out in pieces. You have a background and then each of these little shapes will die cut out, which is super neat. So I chose two different ones. This one here, which is the, uh, petal kind of a shape. This, well, that's what it's called, the color block mini petal. And then, kind of, to me, it looked like a leaf. So it gave me an idea. And then this one is the Color Block Mini Drops die set. There's just two of them in here. But when I saw this, this reminded me of a petal. Even though this one's called Petal, this one reminded me of a petal. And this reminded me of a leaf. So that gave me an idea. So we are going to go ahead and jump in and create a project. We're going to start by doing a little bit of die cutting. So I'm going to take both of these pieces. I like that there's a background included. You don't have to use it as a background. You can actually use it as a shape. But I like that they included that because you can layer your pieces on here. I wanted to create a flower with some leaves. So I'm going to show you how to create one of my flower petals and then one of my leaves. And then I'll repeat the process um, to create five petals in total and two leaves in total. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. Okay, once we have our shapes die cut, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Now you could die cut this out several times with colored cardstock, but I wanted to use uh, my Copic markers. So you could see the tear, it's kind of like a teardrop shape. I'm going to go ahead and use Copics to color them in. And I'm just going to color them on some scratch paper. For my first largest layer, I'm going to use RV02. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. Pretty pink. We're going to make a pink flower. Our second largest, we're going to use the RV29. And then our third, we're going to use RVO4. Nice bright pink. And then for our fourth layer, we are going to use RV13. And then I'm going to leave my flower center white. Now we're going to go ahead and take our base, our base that we die cut out. And I'm just going to use my tape runner and add some adhesive behind it. Or on top of it, I should say. Okay. And now is the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and take my first layer, and I'm just going to use my tweezers, and we'll go ahead and add that, and then I'll add my second layer. It's kind of really therapeutic, kind of just filling it in like little puzzle pieces. I'll add my third layer. And the sky is the limit with all the, I always say the sky is the limit, but I really mean it with all the color combinations that you can create. I'll do our fourth layer and then I'll do our last layer here with our white. I think gold would, or silver would be really pretty here. And then that is one of my petals. Pretty easy to do. Now I'm going to continue this on and do four more petals. Okay, so I have all of my petals done, five in total. 
pretty neat. I love the way this is turning out. Now we're going to basically do the same thing with green on our, um, with our mini petal shape, which is this one. So let me grab my green Copic markers and we'll just go ahead and continue the process the same exact way that we did our first layers. My first, our largest, our first largest color is with G24 and our second largest will be with G16. And our third layer will be with G00. And our last layer we will color in with YG09. Okay, we have our leaves for our flowers, and then we have our flower petals. I think five is like the perfect amount. I do want to turn around and add um, a foam circle behind here. But, and you could actually go even a bigger flower if you wanted to create more petals. But I just want to make a small flower. I think that's going to look pretty, pretty neat flower portion is done. Now we are going to go ahead and take some white cardstock and I'm going to use the Spellbinders Fluted Classics Rectangles and I want to create a background panel using the middle one here. Use some white cardstock and I will run this through my die cut machine. So we have a background panel for our flower. So we have a nice, I love those, that fluted look. Okay, now what we're going to do is take some cardstock. This is an A2 size cardstock piece. And this, I'm excited about this. This is the brand new chamomile color. So pretty! Spellbinders actually has a few um, brand new colored cardstock, part of the Color Essential cardstock collection. And I love the chamomile. It's very different from the yellows that we have. We have beeswax, saffron. You can see here the color difference. So I think it's going to, actually, this one's not Spellbinders. Let me show you the difference. This one's saffron, and then this one is beeswax. You can see the color difference. So it's lighter, which is really nice. And I don't know why I had that one in there. But I'm excited. I have, um, there's also a few extra colors. There is partly cloudy, which is a smoky blue. Really nice color. There is a lunar gray, which is fabulous. And then you also have a new red. This is called Phone Booth. And so if you guys um, want to check these out, I'll link them down below too. But I just trimmed down an A2 panel with my brand new chamomile. And I'm going to use my plaid company embossing folder. And I'm going to emboss this. So we have a little bit of texture in the background. Okay, my background panel is embossed. I think it's a nice sunny color. I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere that directly to my card base. And again, this is a card front panel, so it'll line up completely on the front of my card. Now we are going to go ahead take this panel and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. We're going to use some Spellbinders pop-up foam adhesive. And I'm actually going to use a piece of black since I had it handy. And I don't use the black very often. So I want to use some black so I can open up my next package. <laughs> Now, make sure my card opens the right way. I'm going to add adhesive directly. 
let's stamp our sentiment. For my sentiment, we are going to be using the Many Thanks stamp set. There are a lot of nice thank you sentiments in here. And I kind of thought this, this a note of thanks, was really cute and would go with my, my flower since it's kind of unique. So I am going to add this to the bottom corner of my card. I'm going to bring in my mini Misty. And it stamps just beautifully. And then I'll place this in the center of my card base. Since we already have adhesive. And you can see that pattern behind it looks really nice. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, now we're going to make our flower. So I'm going to... I want my flower to overhang just a little bit on this side. Actually, yeah. Now after we have our flower and our leaves adhered, we have a few more finishing touches. I have some buttons. And I have... A nice bright pink one. I'm going to adhere that to the center of my flower here. Just using a glue dot. Once we have our button adhered, last but not least we're going to add a little sparkle using some Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is White Blizzard. And I'm going to add it to the white of our pretty um, detail pieces and then I'm going to add it to our leaves also just for a little added spark we're kind of keeping it clean and simple today but that is my project using some of the color block um, the mini color block collection I hope you enjoyed my project I wish you a fantastic day we will see you soon bye, -bye.